let's learn how to add cut lines to your artwork in Illustrator in this simple tutorial. So I have a very simple logo here, and what we want to do is create an outline for this so that we could send this to a printer, whether it be for stickers, artwork, whatever it is. You want to make sure everything in your logo is expanded. So we go to View, Outline. You'll see then if you've got things that haven't expanded. So for example here, this is still text. You'll see here this is still a fill and stroke. So if I come back in then to my preview, I need to make sure that all the artwork is expanded and flattened. So if I right click the text and create outlines, that's now gone from text to uh, a fill. And the same here then, this section here, if I go to object, expand, expand the fill and stroke, and then there we go. And then I can ungroup them. And you can see now I've got two separate flat pieces of artwork. I'm gonna create a duplicate layer. So I come over to my layers panel, click here, duplicate layer one, and then I can double click this and rename this cut lines. You wanna make sure you lock layer one because we don't wanna touch that original layer. And then we wanna work on the cut line layer then to create the cut lines for our artwork. Next thing we wanna do now is combine the logo together into one solid shape. So highlight these, come to your shape modes and unite it all. And you'll see right now this is a group. So then what we wanna do once we've done that is go to object, compound path, and make. Let's go to object path, offset path. And this is where now we're gonna create the line that's gonna go around the artwork. So this is gonna depend on the printer and your preferences. Um, I'm gonna set you for a 22 pixel. I think this is giving me enough room and you can, see you can turn the preview on and off to see how much you're getting. So I'm liking this amount of space I've got to work with. And once you're happy with that, then simply click okay. This is now the offset path artwork. So we're going to flip the fill and stroke so that there's no fill and a simple stroke. Clip that there. So now you get a good idea where the cut line is. I'm gonna come over to my stroke. Make sure this is set to one point. Most printers will, will like you to use one point. And I'm also gonna change this to black. So once I'm happy with where my cut line is, and remember, if you're not happy, you can always go back using the appearance panel and change accordingly. The final thing I wanna do then is kind of tidy up these little bits here. So there's a number of ways we can do this. The first way is we can use the delete anchor point uh, from the pen tool and we can use this to get rid of bits of our logo or artwork that we don't want the printer to, to cut around. So we can play around with this uh, accordingly. The next thing we can do then is we can use the direct selection tool and if I use command or control plus to zoom in, you can see these little bits here. What I can do to get rid of these, if I just click one of the anchor points and just delete them, Again, I can do this here, press delete and delete, and then I'll finally do it with this one here, delete and delete. You can see now, I don't have these little kind of gaps in the middle, this is just gonna go all the way around. And the final thing we can do then as well, remember if you've got this layer selected here, Command Z to go back, if I zoom in, I can come in with the pen tool, and I can just kind of fill these little bits here that I don't want, so for example, remember to make this easier, use the smart guides. So for example, I can click here and just create a little connecting section for all of this. Use the selection tool then, highlight this, select these two layers, come to the pathfinder and unite them. And then see then I've filled that little bit in here and I can do the same. This side I could also use the rectangle tool or you know whatever I want. Select that there, make that a little bigger. Use the selection tool. I've got this highlighted, that highlighted as well. Use the pathfinder, unite those shapes, and there you go. Once you've got to this stage, it's just down to you then to play around with it, fill in the gaps, mess around with it, and get it to a point where you're happy. And then finally then, if we come back to our layers panel, we see we've got this cut line layer here. We can just simply delete this bit here. And now we've got the original logo on the layer one, and then we've got the cut line on a separate layer that we can then use to send to the printer, and we have cut lines for our artwork. And you can use this for any type of artwork in Illustrator, whatever it may be. Obviously, the more complex the shapes you're using, the more you're gonna have to kind of play around with these little bits here. But if you use this method and you are willing to just spend a little bit of time tidying it up at the end, you should have cut lines that a printer can take 
and use to cut out your artwork of any shape and size. So there you have it, very, very simple way to add cut lines to your artwork in Illustrator before you send your artwork to the printer. I really hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you got what you needed from it. If you like the channel, please subscribe, turn on notifications, like the video, and let me know in the comments of future tutorials or videos you would like to see on this channel. And until next time, I will see you for the next tutorial.